Hello, everyone. My name is Yerusalem Sahalin. First of all, let me thank you all for joining us today. I'm excited to share my project, which is about predicting total fare based on booking method and airline. Have you ever wondered why airfare fluctuates so frequently, leaving travelers uncertain about when to book their flights? The airline industry operates in a dynamic environment where various factors influence uh, ticket price, including the booking method and the choice of airline. In this presentation, I will explore how advanced uh, machine learning techniques can be leveraged to predict total airfare, considering the actual factors. This insight will help you in order to transform uncertainty into confidence when you are planning your next trip. This is me. Last week, when I had a meeting with the aviation sector, where they reached out and asked for my assistance. I'm excited to share the insight on predicting airfare prices. From this presentation, I will delve into the data source utilized, the methodology employed in building the predictive model, and the actionable insight it has yielded. To address the challenge of optimizing price in the competitive air travel market, airlines and travel agencies must prioritize accurate airfare prediction model. Given that over 20% of travelers prioritize price when selecting flights. So this project advocates for employing a classification model to effectively predict airfare prices. These are the KPIs that I used while I'm working my projects. Total passenger, the number of tickets purchased, total revenue, the amount of money generated from the ticket sales, the average fare, the passengers pays for a flight, and the saving rate is the percentage of saving or discount applied to a total fare. This is my data dictionary, which ensures that my main data set is effectively linked to the calendar table, enabling seamless analysis and visualization of the time-based data. Dialogizing reporting involves analyzing and selecting uh, based on training and testing outcomes. In these projects, after running my data set on the Python code, the base model is the classification model which shows a good result as it, uh, you see in the metrics. The accuracy is 83, the F1 score is 86, the precision is 84, and the recall is 80, 89, and the ROAC is 0 0.85, which means that uh, I'm able to select the best model, which is the classification model. This is the feature capabilities that represent areas where Predictive analysis can significantly impact the business strategy of airlines and travel agencies. This includes the dynamic pricing, demand forecasting, personalized pricing, and revenue optimization. This illustrates how to meet customer demand effectively and maintain a competitive edge in the industry. These are my steps when I went through my project. The first step is I assess the business issue and target by clarifying the issues. Then I retrieve and comply the data set in CSV format from the online sources. Then following that, I used Microsoft Fabric data science platform in order to facilitate the machine learning models. Moving forward, I used the Python code in order to uh, evaluate and select the most effective machine learning. That was I chose the uh, classification model. Then I assess the efficiency of the model and contribution to the feature enhancement. Finally, I developed the Power BI uh, dashboard that indicates for the key performance indicator also included. In this project, it is going to show you, I'm going to show you dashboard, which it, uh, as you should see on the left side, I have four KPS, total passenger, total revenue, the average fare, and the saving rate, which says that the 20,000 of uh, passengers, uh, which is indicated with week over week increase of 4.38%. And the revenue is 60 million, which is a gross week of uh, 3.97. But in the average fare, there is a slightly decrease of 0 0.08 with uh, 787. But the saving rate, which is stable, about 19%. After assessing the efficiency of the model and its contribution to the feature enhancement, I provided the two cases in order to make decision for pricing analysis or the aviation sector. The first one is uh, optimizing phase fare by booking method and focusing on the high demands. 
when you look at an enthusiast, the positive insight and the revenue, which indicated that good, I, the dimension is the fair and the booking method. As you can see on the dashboard, uh, the when you look at it, the online, it generates 13,000 passengers, which a low fare of 553 and resulting in 7 million for the revenue. Whereas in, in the offline, it generates uh, 9 million with a total passenger of 700. 7,329. So this is indicates that the total of the revenue increased in 60 million. The negative insist uh, in this insight for booking method on the fare is that during online booking efficiency, it doesn't generate uh, revenue, even if it has more passengers, it generates only 7 million. Whereas the offline, which is the price is 1,190, but it generates 9 million. For this assessment, for ROI assessment, uh, let's assume if the airline invests 50,000 and for marketing campaign in order to increase online bookings, the ROI calculated is going to be 40%. The other case is based on high demand routes. I use the KPI, which is the passenger volume and the revenue average and the fare and which is selected the root selection, which is high, which is indicated on, if you see on the scatter plot, the highest, the green one, so the bubble is the highest roots, which is the total passenger is 1,303, which generates 1 million. Whereas in the negative inside, the same KPIs in the root selection, there is, a, if you look at it through the Vietnam, the total revenue generates 837, which is a passenger is 770. Uh, so with a very fair of 112. For this ROI, if we invested 150,000 for the, fish, uh, the fuel efficiency and raising to uh, 200,000, but the ROI is going to be 133. By comparing this ROI of the two cases, with lower initial investment and higher initial investment, if the lower initial investment for 50,000, the additional profit is going to be 20,000. Whereas the ROI is going to be 40%, but the higher initial investment is going to be 150,000, but the ROI is going to be one, 133%. So finally, I have uh, explored several strategies and observed promising ROIs. Based on my advanced machine learning analysis, I have presented two potential paths. As a result, I have concluded our meeting to consider this option and to make their final decision. Thank you for listening.